It's an Umbreon. Oh, um, is there kind of a? Is this is this a scene where Wario kicks his dog to death? I'm pretty sure. Uh, it looks like he's. Oh, okay. I it's is he gonna start bringing out the one guy from Pulp Fiction where they just have him in the back of the car and he just pulls oh, that gun, and blows his head God. off? Yeah, they gotta make sure they can get a hold of a friend. It's just Quentin Tarantino. Oh, it's, just a to it's just a it's a toad in the back. Look, it's an Umbreon. Y'all hear that? They're, they're just. They're yeah. just Fucking, fucking Wario and what? Luigi are just like riding in the fucking front. They got a um, <laughs> well, toad in the back. What was Luigi it? blows his fucking head off. They go to Mario. <laughs> like, Those are my hands to say. And then the toad to storage. <laughs> oh no, that has to be cut. <laughs> I said toad. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> so, like if I mute and cough, you can hear me mute. Yeah, um... Oh, that sucks. Oh, no. We see. Hey, look, it's a Wario. Hey, welcome, everybody. That's a Whoa. funny way to start the video, right? Welcome to Wario Land 4, everybody. What's poppin'? The game I've been wanting to play for some time. Oh, yeah. So is, it, is this like Mario Land, but with Wario? Um, so, have you ever played uh, the first Wario Land on the Game Boy? It's, no. a, it's usually referred to as Wario, or it's usually referred to as Mario Land 3, Wario World, or Wario Whoa. Land. They just didn't know where to stop. Yeah. Mario Lands and Worlds and the yeah. galaxies. Because. Sunshines. I know. They didn't know what they were doing yet at the time. But okay. yeah. Yeah, these games were always pretty fun. I This one, this is the one I usually prefer out of all of them, though, because it's, it's just the graphics are so nice and. Is this on the, the GBSAs? Yes, this is on the GBA. Because Wario... Cause, what a great... Yeah. Because I know... Wario Land 3 is on the Switch Online service now because they added Game Boy games uh, not too long ago, as well as the GBA. Not enough of them. I know, not like, enough. I'm glad it's all there, but goddamn, they had like the slimmest of selections. Yes. They need... What they really need are the Pokemon games, especially with Nintendo shutting down the 3DS and period and get all the best sellers and main classics. Exactly. Yes, exactly. If we could have Give me a what I need. Yes. Hey, th hey, um, question. Yes. This is gonna be really random. <laughs> what does Waluigi sound like? <laughs> I've literally never heard the fucker's voice. <laughs> That's how he sounds. Internet, let it, let him know. Let Garm know how he sounds. Just type it in with no uh, context or anything. Just have it say "wah." <laughs> okay, so. Ah, Luigi. Okay, so he legit just punches enemies. Mario jumps on them. He punches them. He, well, he also he can fucking smash them with dead ass. <laughs> War, you don't give a fuck. He's yeah. a brawler. Right. Yeah, he if, really if you is. Press, if you press the right sequence, uh, sequence of buttons, he'll just whip out his massive cock and slap an enemy with oh, it. Oh, I don't like so, these controls. I'm gonna. Who, there we go. You say you, this is your favorite game. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm switching out. Okay. Should I explain to everybody on here that we are playing this on the Game Boy Player and uh. You know how on the controller you can actually swap the buttons for like left, right, select, all you, that. I still you, have it you, set to the controls for Pokemon. That's how long you, it's been. You know how playing this. when you used to play a game, yeah. you used to take up the whole screen, and we're using this mini player that Nintendo for some reason was like full screen. Who yeah, there's that? no need for that. Full screen, right? fuck you, full screen. Wait, hey, so this is, is that better? Oh, yeah, God. this is the actual. Oh, yes, God, that bet. I know, right? Oh, it might. Why didn't Nintendo do this? Nintendo did do this. This was like. No, uh, with their Nintendo Switch Online, why isn't this an option? I I really don't know. Nintendo, fix your shit. <laughs> it's it's why? because the fucking I'm I'm a hundred percent sure that uh the fucking uh, executive at Nintendo or CEO or what the fuck ever was just actually uh, like, let's piss people off. Let's make this experience as like not fun as we can while still keeping people buying our shit 
Uh, yeah, Furukawa is just gonna be like, nobody respects me like they respect Iwata. Fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> I I am so sorry about that, everybody. Satoru Satoru Iwata, such a legend. He really was a legend if you really look at it for Nintendo. Well, except for that time he kicked a dog to death. <laughs> No, you know my dog Choking got up, uh, got up. Like what? Why would you do that? <laughs> <laughs> because he's a rich CEO and he just I had know. to get off somehow, and the way he got off was by kicking the dog to death. Right, right. Everybody's like, gotta get off. Like he was a huge, <laughs> he was a huge part of Nintendo getting big. Like he helped with the making the programming for, because originally he was a programmer for HAL Laboratory and, um. Uh, over time, they got him for other projects. Like he helped build the one of the engines for uh, Earthbound and for Pokemon Silver to uh, in, to like s make it so then s look, we didn't have severe load times like we did on the original uh, Game Boy. Like if you look at Red and Blue, there's a lot of slowdown and you're just waiting on shit to load in that game. So when they brought it into Gold and Silver, they used Iwata's code for uh, Earthbound oh. in there. Whoa. Yeah. I mean, my dick hurts. Do I throw a thing out a little bit more Chinese? Oh, my people. Uh, I love video game, like, history and just, like, computer Yeah, games. no, it's really, right? actually really interesting, all the, like, behind-the-scenes shit that goes on video games. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's like, I'm By, by the way, for, for, yeah. le for legal purposes, uh... Uh, whoever I was saying kicked a dog to death did not kick a dog to death. Yeah, uh, it was Furukawa. He probably did. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I'm like, sorry, Furukawa-san. I'm sorry. I can't now of Total Gore suit. Fuck yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> We're going to the Sphincter Doom, Don't as Trip would say. Wah! Hey, look, we just ended it up in an Amp Lemon video. Downward spiral, Whoa. downward spiral, downward spiral. I wanna. I haven't watched spiral. that fucking dude in forever. I don't. I, I, I don't even know what the fuck he's been up to. So with him, he's mainly just been doing like it's more like documentary based stuff. Uh, I really liked his video about Mac the Knife. Like you know the yeah. you know Mac tonight the McDonald's mascot and then. No, the, I don't. Yeah, because it was a because originally Mac the Knight came from uh, it came from a piece of media called The Beggar's Opera and then just over time it really changed where it was like okay he was the anti-hero for the people against faceless corporation to being the face of a faceless corporation to literally just being the concentration of all pure evil with yeah what was uh, his name uh Mac Knight he was the guy who, who was oh, the guy editor. with the moon head Editor, throw up a picture of Mac tonight and Ronald McDonald in a knife fight. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Oh no, I'm per. Are oh you no. Uh, look at this uh, purple Kirby-looking dude. <laughs> he looks a little fucked up. He looks like he looks like a crossbreed between uh, where he, are they called? Like, Lolo's. He looks like he looks like Kirby if you strangled Kirby to death. It's a uh, Lolo and Lo Lolo and Lala from Kirby, the little uh, pink and blue dudes. Oh, good lord! Look at that face. Wait, could you strangle Kirby? Does Kirby even have a fucking neck? Um, no. Yet again, there is the art. I did draw the picture of Kirby literally attached oh. to my skull, like just no. yeah, eating my brain matter. Oh. We did it! Oh, we did it! We took out this dude, Claire. Oh yeah! Oh, oh, zoom yeah. in on that little image of Wario right there. Oh, yeah! Uh, and then you Better find out that. it's a pyramid. Oh, what are we keeping? Oh, I just burped in the mic. Oh, yes, yes, editor, keep that in. <laughs> keep that in, please. Yes, feel free to. Oh, yeah. No. So, yeah, now it just showed a pyramid, and now we can go wherever we want. Editor, I want you to go to Scotland and capture Loch Ness Monster, and then put on screen how big their penis is. Um, um, you w oh, we wait, no, Loch Ness Monster is female, isn't it? I don't know. To yeah, correct yeah, you on it. this good sir being a part of this channel, it's the Twat Ness Monster with its tiny fins screaming, Twat! 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 <laughs> What? I didn't Mine go through one like anime. Spiegel. But you had. Oh. Oh. He does. Poor Gollum. The 
Oh, uh, he doesn't know about the Twatness monster patch, right? Garm oh, doesn't know, know about the, the Twatness monster going twat. No, I do, dude. Wow! <laughs> Yay! You literally sent me the clip. I I know, I know. <laughs> oh, by the way, we're on the beach now. Yeah. I really like this soundtrack. It's just all over the place and just batch insane. We'd have to. Uh, we'll have to make sure we get to play a little bit more of this in the future, because it's quite a large game, but, and I don't know. So, kind of the issue, it should explain. We tried to play this before, and, uh, the issue was this copy apparently does not save, so I have no idea what's going on with it. Uh, I might have, I'll have to replace the battery you in there. can quick save? Um, or or oh, no, no, because I'm actually playing on original hardware. I'm playing on the GameCube right now. But yeah, he's actually, right, got, but the he's actually got the cartridge in. He yeah. Look, well, the cartridge, yeah, the cartridge save battery died get that on cartridge. it. Do you understand? He had five people sacrifice their lives so <laughs> Jethro could get that cartridge because he had to fight them for it. And he had to get it. Whoa, whoa, no, 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 that didn't happen, no, no, editor, editor, help, <laughs> no, I didn't pull anything out like that, no, don't do that, no, <laughs> yeah, and just put a picture, yeah, and just put up a uh, me Canyon's picture of the baby going, let's go, <laughs> That's one of my favorite animes from uh, me, the Canyon. The way he fucking draws the babies, absolutely I, nightmarish. I love it. Let's go. Oh, I know. It's so good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We've like, gone in great detail with me, Canyon I before. Think, legitimately, I think me Canyon's like the best example there is of um, comedy horror. Yes. Horror comedy, because like I find that when you watch a movie or whatever that mixes what horror the with some other genre rather it be like action or comedy or whatever they tend to have more focus on the comedy or the action so like it's not you know actually trying to scare you or disturb you a uh, great example would be underworld for example where like yeah sure there's vampires and werewolves but is it really like action oh horror? yeah do slam down with that ass. You, really. so yeah <laughs> Yeah. I uh, yeah. on your personal time, I sent you a Facebook message, and I sent you a YouTube link of James Lee. I don't know if you ever heard of him. Uh, no, I haven't. I I, I, I don't know. Who. Him both. He, okay. He blends animation and film in a way I've never seen. Oh yeah. Um, oh nice. It's it's got like oh Freddy crazy horror aesthetic. You know what I mean? Oh nice. Uh, real quickly, uh, oh. just to finish my thought though. But no, uh, Me Canyon, uh, from all the uh, people I've seen, because I haven't seen the person that you're talking about yet. Yeah. Um, like, more effectively than anybody else I've seen, really, like, blends aspects of horror and comedy together, where, like, you feel, like, legitimately disturbed when you watch a cartoon <laughs> of this, but you're still laughing your ass off. Yes, yes. That was one of my favorites with them. Um, actually, can I talk about a video I did see? Because, no. uh... Um, a while back ago, I saw some advertisement for, like, I, I don't know, it's like some fucking flight, some phone game, I think, like, Clash Royale or whatever the fuck, whatnot, but it had Me Canyon doing the ad read and all that. The entire time he's talking about, like, this happy game with, like, just puzzle pieces and all that, and you just realize he's wearing a t-shirt from the band 200 Stab Wounds. <laughs> Your mic cut out. I oh, damn it. What the hell is that? 